Welcome to Good Mythical More. Oh, we're gonna do some reverse censorship for children to teach them what they don't want. They the kids pop doesn't want them to hear. We uh. What you laughing at? First, we're gonna play what's the word. That was though. so confusing. Reverse censorship. Look at that. You have a bullhorn. Hello. What's the word? The word is Donnie Brook. Donnie Brook. Uh, sounds like a. Sounds like a housing development. <laughs> Sounds like a housing development. Uh, my my father-in-law built because he did. <laughs> uh, let's see. A Donnybrook is a uh, is a it's not it's a it's a gathering of um, of like-minded people, mm. but it's not. Yeah, but it's it's uh, it it could be it could be uh, metaphysical. I think it's you get yourself in a situation that might be difficult to get. Uh, I got myself in a Donny Brook. Oh, like it's a, it's it's a, it's a tight situation. Like, uh, oh, a little bit okay. of a Donny Brook. It's a not. It's either a meeting of the minds or a tight situation. Which is it? Answer is an inordinately wild fight or contentious dispute. Oh, well, okay. So it was kind of a combination, a reversal of yours. Yeah. I would not name a housing development that, now that I know what that means. Right, 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 right. I'm just gonna put that out. Maybe they have a lot of uh, disputes there. Maybe there's a lot of, dis maybe. Contentious disputes. See, I don't wanna live in that neighborhood. Uh, so Kids Bop, with a Z, um, they've been around for years, decades even, probably. And best I can remember, Did your kids go through the Kids Bop phase? It's kids singing pop songs. And, Making but, them clean, and then they make them clean. But it's we, but it's kids performing the songs. We, we listen to it all the time. We, we didn't listen to it that much. My kids, man, they like Locke especially. Locke's always been a little bit more into popular music. So like age four, maybe age five, he would listen to kids pop. Uh -huh. Shepard never, never got into it. Lando really doesn't like profanity in music. <laughs> So I think he would be really into it because like, you know, we listen to, I mean, it's, you listen to hip hop, it's inescapable. It's inescapable. It's inescapable. You, 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 you give up after a while, you know, like, okay, this is, this is part of the parlance. What does he do Lando. if he hears something? Have you asked him what something? he doesn't like about profanity? Uh, is he like, oh no, no, dad, change, change the radio station. Yeah, he gets upset because, not the radio station. It's like we play, because the radio is edited. I mean, it's not oh, a song yeah, yeah, by yeah, children. Oh, yeah, 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 It's been a while. Nobody listens to the radio, Stevie. I'm sorry, sorry. He just, he knows that I'm it's- I'm so sorry. That it's wrong to say those words, so he doesn't want to hear them, and I, I respect that. No, but that what either. does he say? He's like, stop it. Yeah, he's like, turn this off. It's, it's, really? It's bad. Yeah, and I'm like, it's just the way it is, son. <laughs> That's what I say. You're like, listen to it. Listen to these bad you words. You open your ears. That's right. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a lyric that's the, the actual original lyric from a from a pop song or a hip hop song or whatever the song is. And then you're gonna have to guess what Kids Bop changed it to to make it clean. Okay. Okay, so the first one is from Telephone by Lady Gaga featuring Beyonce. Out in the club and I'm sipping that bub and you're not gonna reach my telephone. So you're you're trying Out to replace. Out in the club and I'm sipping that bub and you're not gonna reach my telephone. Sipping that bub is apparently not appropriate for Out children in the club to hear. And I'm petting that cub and you're not gonna reach my telephone. Petting that cub. It's a different it, kind of club. It does need to rhyme with club, I guess. Out in the club and I'm. It's not petting the cub. That's what you do at uh, at a gay club. Uh, so petting, I should probably stay away from that. Uh, well, I was referring to the, the cub part, but yeah, petting out happens at all kind of clubs. Uh, st st no. We'll what's talk a, about what's it later. A, what's, what's a clean word that rhymes with bub? Blub, sub, sub, eating that sub. Yeah. Oh, you are so close. You're out so in the club, close. Eat. And, and I'm, and I'm. It's not sub. It's, it's a, it's a colloquial word. Grub, eating yep. that grub. Yep. Eating that, eating that grub, that grub, and you're not gonna reach my t -t telephone. Yeah, you gotta eat at the club. All right, everybody gets hungry. Right. Lil Nas X's "Old now. Down Road." You're familiar. My life is a movie. 
bull riding and boobies. boobies. Yes. Cowboy hat from Gucci. Wrangler on my booty. Um, so boobies, boobies and Wrangler and, on my booty. Uh, Wranglers, apparently. They don't want any brands. They don't want, oh, they, my Gucci's life okay. is a movie. Wrangler, no. Bull riding and boobies. Cowboy hat from Gucci. Wrangler on my booty. Bull riding and Scooby. You know, I like to watch Scooby. <laughs> Cowboy hat from Gucci. Wrangler on my Newbie. Flooby. Okay, yeah, only on my... Okay, so Wrangler was initially highlighted in my mind, at least. No, 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 on my booty. Yeah, no, okay. No, that's incorrect, but I did like the Bull riding and coochie. <laughs> that was, that's, a, that's worse. Bull riding and... Truly. <laughs> duty. Bull riding and duty. Bull... Cowboy hat from Gucci. Well, you know, if you're going to ride a bull... It's my duty to ride the bull. With a cowboy hat from Gucci. Wrangler on my... Snoopy. I actually think... When when this song was big, I actually Stanley Tucci? Lincoln played... The kids pop version of this for me. And it's it, it was wild. I don't think it was guessable. Wrangler Stanley Tucci. Uh... My life is a movie. Bull riding and bull riding and groovy. I'm just gonna say groovy. That could be good. Go cowboy hat from Gucci. Wrangler. This is so different. I don't know how. You, I mean, you might as well have said Stanley Tucci, which you did. I mean, it's it's very Wrangler difficult. in my hoopty. A hoopty is That's like a lot an, better. An old car. It's my life is a movie. Bull riding and bougie. Cowboy hat from Gucci, Wrangler like on TV. Oh yeah, from the commercials. Because the only way that these kids have experienced Wrangler is watching them on a commercial. The jeans? Yeah. Okay. They've seen Wrangler commercials. It, the rhyme scheme kind of fizzled out on Maybe that. Maybe it's a Jeep Wrangler. Oh, no. Lizzo's Truth Hurts. Oh, this is a good one. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% that that kid. I yep. Am, I am the. This is about paternity. I am one hundred percent the child of this man. <laughs> I found out on Mari. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, right? You got it. I mean, if you get kids, Bob, you got to go with the obvious thing first, right? My hand does not stink the thing as much as this soap. Your so the soap. Everything stinks over there. You need real soap. Like, get those the wipes and just start that, disinfecting yourself. Everything. Well, you have it on your hands too, don't you? No, I use soap. <laughs> <laughs> it pretty much just got rid of it. I don't smell the salmon anymore. All right, chain let's smokers another. closer. Pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder. I don't know why they had the, to censor this. First of all, this. there's nothing bad about this. Yeah. You can steal a mattress cactus that you stole. From your. Oh yes, uh, Chase is suggesting that kids can't associate with things like a uh, roommate because they don't have one, uh, <laughs> and that's why the they cactus changed. that you stole from your mommy back in Boulder when why your you daddy. Say, why are you saying cactus? Because it rhymes with mattress. Yeah, it doesn't need to rhyme with anything, I guess. Um, from the pencil that you stole from your teacher back in Boulder. Okay, that's that's close. Your your, it's a school your, supply. Eraser. From no. the ruler, ruler that you stole from your uncle back in Boulder. No. Is that a pencil? No. See, I'm gonna clean the this. paper. So, yeah, also known as notepad. Also known as notebook. Notebook. Yeah. Off the notebook that you stole from your friend back in Boulder. Because it's sheets. Back in Boulder. Oh, it's sheets. Cousin. Of paper. Friends. Yes. Friends. From your friends back in Boulder. Pull the sheets right off the corner of the notebook that you stole from your friends back in Boulder. Why don't they change stole though? Because stole's bad. Kids don't need to know about stole. You can't be, you can't, true. you know, you, you can't, can't steal a notebook things. from your friends. A true friend doesn't steal a notebook. Kids. But sometimes your friend leaves a notebook at your house. At that point, it's yours. Oh, God. Take that, take that lesson to the bank, kids. Do Alipa's new rules. Three, don't be his friend. You know you're going to wake up in his bed in the morning. Oh, yeah. I can't have this. 
Rule number three, don't be his friend. You know you're gonna go to brunch together in the morning. No, brunch is not for kids. Don't be his friend. You know you're gonna regret it in the morning. What what's kind something of things do the kids do in the morning? No, what's something you don't do if you're if you shouldn't be friends with somebody, the telltale sign is you're gonna see him at school in the morning. Um I think you're gonna you're gonna see him in jail in the morning. Don't be his friend. He's going to jail. You know you're gonna And it needs to fit the it needs to fit the rhythm of wake, wake up, up in, in his, his bed. bed. Wake up in his bed. I don't I don't know this song, so Punch him till he's dead. <laughs> it doesn't need to rhyme with bed, I don't Touch think. him on the head. You know you're gonna blank in the morning. Don't be his friend. You know you're gonna find a new friend in the remember morning. Remember that this he's does really doesn't make any logical Remember that sense. he's Fred. Remember that he's Fred in the morning. Three, don't be his friend. You know you're gonna meet up with your friends in the morning. Oh, stupid. <laughs> kids bop, I gave up on you. Just, I, th I don't think this is, this is a good message for kids either. Just because you have friends don't, doesn't mean you shouldn't beat someone. You don't need more friends. Kids can only have so many friends. Hey. Ariana Grande's Seven Rings, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and Bottles of Bubbles, Girls with Tattoos Who Like Getting in Trouble. Oh, they had to replace bubbles, bottles, bottles of, of bubbles, bubbles and, and tattoos. tattoos. See, they took out bottles. I mean, it could be bubble bath. Bottles of bubbles, just leave it. It's bubble bath. This second blank replacement, I think, is my favorite out of the entire bunch. Breakfast at Tiffany's and a hint of stubble. You know, like you're, you're, you're about to go through puberty? Little, just a little... <laughs> Breakfast at Tiffany's. Just a little stubble. Girls with, see they left girls with blank who like getting in trouble. Girls with lenient parents yeah. <laughs> who like getting in trouble. Girls with bad ideas who like getting in trouble. Yeah, what kind of message are they trying to send? Girls, what, something that sounds like tattoo, baboon. Girls with baboons. You know, this is like a girl that is getting ready to be a zoologist and she's volunteering at the zoo. But you know the girls that work in the primate exhibit are always getting in trouble. Breakfast at Tiffany's and... and, and Lassos? <clears throat> Bottles of bubbles is a lot of syllables. Oh, I'm What would you do with, with baboons? Girls with baboons who like getting in trouble. What would make sense of baboons at the beginning? Breakfast at Tiffany's and food for baboons. Girls Breakfast at Tiffany's and something maybe with, maybe this is a throwback to the shuttle. Like <laughs> footage of shuttles. Because they can experience the shuttle in real time. They can only see yeah. footage of shuttles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breakfast at Tiffany's and footage of shuttles. What about vines? Shovels. Was vines? Oh. Bre Breakfast at Tiffany's and. My collection of shovels. My collection of shovels. Girls with, with baboons who, who like getting, getting in trouble. That's it, definitely. Guys. You didn't get any of it. <laughs> yeah. Breakfast at Tiffany's. It won't burst my bubble. Oh. Oh. Girls with dreams who like getting in trouble. Oh, yeah. You know, the, we can't let the girls dream. <laughs> yeah. We can't let those girls start dreaming. Don't you start dreaming because you Next know that we're not start doing it. <laughs> You'll start getting in trouble. That's sad. Man, kid. Me up. No, I don't have any more. That's it? I, I wanted to end on that sad, sad note. That's sad. Don't dream, girls. Leave that to the boys. <laughs> Straight from the Kids Bop HQ. Add the GMM travel mug to your mythical drinkware collection. Available now at mythical.com.